Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 50 first round match between Dari Yawus uh, and his halflings and Peravale and his proels. In the booth with me is Purple Chest. Hello. Hello Jimmy, pleasure to be here. What a, what a cracking game we're looking forward to. Well, yes, maybe. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, look, we all know the problem, but yeah, it's halflings and they're terrible at Blood Bowl. But they've got two good stars. Um, really, the stretch goal for halflings is win this game, isn't it? That's that's probably the focus of the chalice for them. Yes. Um, they, they got a, they've got a wizard, which hasn't turned up yep. on, on here. And they've also got the chef, which only stole one reroll. Um, they've got... Uh, Zara the Slayer and Morgan Thorg and you know it's as about as good a halfling team as you can get I guess because it's some halflings and some trees and yeah. Morgan Zara um, yeah. Peravale has a pretty nice pro team really he's got the edge up blitzer he's got a strength up mighty blow tackle like perfect blitzer that one isn't it for perfect blitzer, the blitzer yep. every turn and uh, Garda there he's got a move 10 sprint catcher it's minus strength but you know who cares because it's move 10 and sprint so he's got a lovely I'm loving there. that that blitzer isn't a pile of honor I think that's uh, that makes it better but others would disagree um, it is however and, and I mean here's the opportunity there's not a load of tackle on this pro elf team so there's maybe some opportunity there um, yeah. I mean Zara's a good piece if she gets the ball in hand which oh look she has mm. um, that's a decent ball carrier and Morg can do some work yeah, Plus, like, anything on the ground could be kicked in the face. Because how long are the dark are the elves on the bench? Only the one. Yeah, only the one. Yeah. Okay. And it's a it's a near is it a it's not it's a near natty, isn't it? It's not a natty. Quite. Was it a natty? Yeah. He, he doesn't oh yeah. Okay. Sure yeah, sprint. But... Yeah, it's got sprint as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't have sure. Oh wow, look at that instant three D. Obviously, he needs one assist to get the three D to nail nail flings. Hmm. I mean, strength for that's why it's so beautiful for the high elves, for any elves, is um, that ability to blitz without an assist, or as you say, on a stunty, you know, you can get three dice with only one elf having to be perhaps in a different place than you want it. <laughs> Such a good skill. I, people were outraged when the new rule said it had gone up to 80k, but I, I think that's probably not, not far off what it's worth. No, no. It's weird, isn't it? Because, you know, we, we've been used to 30k for movement, 40 for mm. agility, and 50 for strength, and now. The movement's only 20k. Um, yep. AV will only be 10k, which is like yeah. insane. Well, because no one ever took it, so perhaps yeah. they now will. Yeah, and agility 40k is kind of a is kind of a increase because, of course, it doesn't count for passing anymore. So, like, agility's yeah. usefulness is reduced, so that it's mm -hmm. it's not as good. And then, obviously, strength up to 80. So, yeah, it's interesting how. I mean, I can counter that by saying there's been a bit of a decrease on agility as well, um, because secondaries or doubles as we used to call them have gone up from 30 to 40. that's true yeah that's so true. now agility is the price of a double uh, yeah. rather than more than so it, it's just all it's all shook up isn't it yeah very interesting and in some ways that's that's fun the, the rule set was very ossified mm. well there were some changes from this till 2020 they were very small very gradual <laughs> and really we'd had more or less the same rule set for sort of 10 12 years by the time they changed yeah so, um, we've got a nice defensive position. We've got the trees right ahead of Zara. Zara's got the ball. Plenty of flings around, keeping her safe. Morg nearby-ish, but perhaps trying to do some killing. And now the elves are trying to flow around and hassle all corners of the cage, aren't they? Which is, is sensible. You don't want to come in through the trees if you can avoid it. No, just... just uh... Just yeah, tag tag halflings and yep. three dice with uh, with mighty blow tackles. Yeah, keep stuff. hitting with the mighty blow tackle, removing the halflings, tagging some up. And trying to stay off the big scary ones. Yeah. It's not a complex plan, but it could work. And there we are. All three big ones don't get hit anything this time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the thing is, be it like with, with the startups and stuff, it just depends on like the format, doesn't it, right? So, like, obviously, if you're having redrafts, then it depends on how high the redraft is and how long the season is and all that kind of stuff. 
and then also of course on fumble and that they don't have redrafts at the moment Blood Bowl yeah. 3 will not have redrafts in um, oh. so you know so it's all different I mean I'm definitely taking armour up in uh, in Blood Bowl 3 as it stands yeah in an open environment it. without redrafts it's it's a no brainer you know your Dwarf Runner for example you probably put just block on it maybe something else maybe one more but probably you then just save up and make sure you get move yep correct and after that you probably save up and push for either another move or an agility and if it fails you can always take a double and get dodge yeah so there's all sorts of ways you can abuse this rule set without redrafts and it's why it's a terrible decision from blood bowl 3 at least fumble is constantly saying we're still working towards the redraft situation as mm. we don't think this rule set works for competitive blood bowl without it mm. So we're wow, not going to see much blitzing. change from this as a strategy, are we? It's, it's a button. lovely set of elf walls, those two deep, uh, right in front of the cage. The cage will waddle forward behind Morgan various trees. But they've lost one already, so... Great play from Perivale there. So look, he knew he was going to roll a double one on the armour, so he didn't blitz with Mighty Blow. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there was no one to reach, was he? You'd have had to come Yeah, he was, it, was a, it was a repositioning turn, wasn't it? He's, he's got that. Mighty blow and tackle right back where he wants it, central, ahead of the drive. Uh, and he's thinned out a lot of the flings already, so targets are going to get a little tougher. Yeah. That paid off, didn't it, the, the basing there last turn? Get a free yeah. 2D instant dub skulls. I like the discipline to not re-roll that. Yes, yeah. Maybe he could have re-rolled it, right? With, with Yeah, the... it, it, I thought it was an, a, a, an edge call, but it's more likely you miss it than you you regret you know not re-rolling it i think i think with block it's a lot more a lot more desirable isn't it because then you've got like added chance of knockdowns and less chance yeah. of turnovers like both ways like but i think yeah without block i, I like even without the block it. school certainly a both down i would definitely have taken yeah. I don't think I'd have re-rolled that. I'd, I'd like to think I didn't. It's so tempting now. I mean, only four turns afterwards and two still on. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I guess you want to re-roll. The thing, ah, yeah, so actually, no, you 100% never consider re-rolling it because you don't actually have three re-rolls, do you? You've got two because you are not allowed to use your last re-roll because you have a... No, because you're saving it for your natty, yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, no, then you're right, yes. Yeah keep two because you might still get a chance to break him through or do something fun with it and you definitely keep one of them yeah. or that natty yeah. so I mean this is still pretty this is pretty good for Dara right because he you know he's yeah. he's, he's slowly edging forward with the trees and that isn't he and, and the tree and Morg are, are pushing in he's nearly got forward enough to uh, get in range with Zara so yeah I mean this is great I think he's decided it's, it's so alright that he's not going to have to push forward this turn yeah. so he's going to use the rooted tree as one of his corners isn't he yeah, yeah. which I think is fine I Unfortunate though that these well not unfortunate. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that he's he's got halflings and he's facing proels, but you know good play by Paraville to put the wrestlers there so that it more can't knock them down, isn't it? With yeah. Yeah. And if you don't have universal blodge then wrestle is, is useful. No one wants their morgue on the ground. Exactly, yeah. Oh. This is uh, this uh, mighty blow guy has removed everyone he's blitzed. <laughs> uh, I have, I have uh, four or five times I've been available to try and spin something when Rick's been spinning, and I've just found I haven't really wanted to. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why. It's interested me my emotional response to it. It is purely an emotional one. It just feels wrong activating to snipe still, and I know it's he would be happy with it, and it's been set up to do it. So perhaps I need to just get the hell over that. But it just hasn't felt like something I wanted to do. Mm. And then today I've noticed something that has made me really perhaps not want to take part at all. Um, because now they've added some actual Huel to the prize. Yes, yeah. Which yeah. has made me a lot less keen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's something, isn't it? Oh, well. Doesn't re roll. The problem is, like, now he's losing so many flings, now he's just not able to push forward, is he? Yeah. Um, 
Not yeah, maybe you, maybe it was. I mean, I, I understand why he tried to push onto the tree and keep himself nice and safe. But maybe it wasn't. Okay. I mean, if he can get... He's only got to get, what, two spaces forwards? Yeah. Tough, isn't it? I mean, I think he wants to try and do that next turn, obviously, but it... We there is a route back. with a double go for it on the tree that I quite like, but he's not. He's blitzing backwards. I, I think that's going to mean he doesn't score. Yeah, I think. I didn't think you could blitz backwards that turn and get anywhere worth getting to. No, so maybe he's going to hand off to a halfling uh, in half the cage, and throw it. so he can throw it. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, this reshaping looks exactly like that's what he's doing. He's putting Zara on that corner, on the elf. Yeah, handing off to the sidestep fling. Uh -oh. Who won in nines it? Well, yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, this is. The harvest was bountiful. <laughs> Amazing. Now he can scatter with more glorious. Hello, Skuro. Hello, hello. How's this one looking? Uh, it's half other than other than uh, predecided by the one of the teams. <laughs> well, I mean, Dario was has done fine. He's done great. But it's it got a bit bogged down with just too many halflings removed. Mm. Yeah, so he's tried the hand off and throw the fling thing, and actually with that bounce, it might still be on. Mm. Fling fetch and, and or Zara fetch hand off to the fling that's still in range and tree still throws. But there's one tackle zone on it and a stunned morgue. I think we need to put a couple more pro elves on the tree. Oh, the edge five is coming in. Will he oh, the edge five is going to cover the ball and just solve it by being an elf. No, he's not. He had no reroll and he rolls a one. So there's still a chance. Oh, it's in a worse position. So we've got to hit the first. Got to knock over the sidestepper with the rooted tree. And then we pick the ball up, give it to the fling in one tackle zone. Oh, no, but then you can't. What? Oh, okay. We're making sure we don't. So we don't lose. Now we can yeah. Get <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's reasonable. Because yeah. yep. yeah, now we can't get scored on. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. You do still really need to try and score there, though. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. This, you can't, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. Must pick up four plus handoff because he yeah. still got, he got the power with the tree. Yeah, that was that was fine. Like he's, he's... another one in nine. Yeah, diced. Really? Yeah. yeah. Never lucky. <laughs> Fua, hello, Goliath. Welcome, Goliath. Oh, that was that was that was smart, wasn't it? Making sure he went for him, so he just wouldn't lose. Because there's there's a real good yeah. chance. Of yeah, it was super smart, super smart. <laughs> and particularly with an AG five around, even without rerolls, it can do magic. Correct. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was that was like a wild. This is turn eight. This is turn eight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought there was one more turn. I was like, oh, that's uh, <laughs> a risk. <laughs> <laughs> so it gets the defensive stopped as Peraville. and oh my god, the chef steals three. <laughs> okay, well now this could finally give us a game, couldn't it? Yeah, and he's got a wizard still, Dara. So yep. yeah, this is wizard. Yeah. Two good stars. Full team Everything of flings still. Yeah. Everything in your power to get to overtime at this point is uh, pretty much. I guess a halfling one turn is also on. So, yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's a few. There's a few avenues to victory here for Dara. I'd, I'd be which is... win this in normal time, to be honest. Yeah. 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 Mm. There's a chance. I don't have a lot of faith in halflings turning over elves. <laughs> no, neither do I. But you know, wizard, oh, even with yeah, a wizard, yeah. wizard, with Zara, Lord even with more. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's even reasonable. With having, that's reasonable. Yeah, even that's with reasonable. them having a total of one reroll. Mm. You don't need a lot for to go wrong. Yeah, you just need. I mean, I'd certainly dice. be playing to turn the ball over, over relying on a one turn for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd, probably, I'd almost certainly be keeping one back for a one turn, you know, one reroll. Yeah. But that mm -hmm. gives me three rerolls, three big hitters, Zara, mm -hmm. lots of flings, and a whiz. All just got to get the ball off them. Yeah, I guess that's. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I, I think I'm coming around on that because like. I mean, I'm still you gotta do so, You gotta get lucky. You gotta get lucky with flings in yeah. this matchup at all. So, and Perivel needs to respond to it by just going into a very conservative mode, but still going for the throat if that moment arrives to get his yeah. score done. Because um, he just can't chance that one reroll. So that's good. Putting a third, 
to put in the assistant to get the three die there. He's going to continue every little removing, thing. removing a yeah. player with every single blitz. Is pretty Kill good. a fling every time. You'll probably be all right. Mm. Hello, Faulty. Yeah, if a chef gets three, it's it's incredible, isn't it? Like, it's actually an incredible inducement if it gets three rerolls. Um, which it has done. So, yeah, it's made it a game. But, I mean, that's only putting him to four out of six. So if you average it over the entire game, statistically, it's not that much of an outlier. No, no, but it's it's critical for it a drive. It's one in eight for this half to take all three, yeah. Yeah, in for is, a drive, it's, it's a nice high rolling. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, three and one is much better than two and two, isn't it? Yes, because, yeah, you know, yeah. Leading him two well. each half would, you know, it, it's actually quite easy to play with two. It's not optimal, but it's not difficult. But one is really tough. Yeah. Though having said that, he's got so much dodge and there's no tackle that it's not really that bad to have one reroll, is it? You know. Yeah, like it, he's got rerolls built in on most of his move actions for sure. Yeah. And if he does want to move the ball, he's got catchers which have got rerolls on the catch. So, yeah. But. These little slivers of chance give us our belief that we can get the win. Yeah. Um, That's fucking elf, though. <laughs> God, again. Again. <laughs> Three dice. Remove a fling. <laughs> Could we just whiz that elf and foul yeah, the yeah, Pretty much. It might have been a play, yeah. Um, well, I think we certainly we blitz it, don't we? Because if we can get that down and kill it, the game changes hugely. Hmm. And everything's got blodge, so why not? I know it's only two die with Morg, not three, but but why not? Yeah. Um, with great difficulties under as as uh, flings, but generally you want to like just blitz and pile in, right? If 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 they get to screen you off at the end, then then it's just rough, isn't it? You've just got to try. You've and do probably something. killed insufficient elves on the way to that point. Yeah, yeah. You you want removals, and you want to try and try and pile in and like, you know beast them a bit and then hope that it works out. It's it's tough. Like it's really tough to just break the old elf screen. Now if Morgan uh, if Morgan had gone out after the uh the halfling killer down there, yeah. I guess he wouldn't have had three dice on him, but Yeah he might have dub scold and just <laughs> <laughs> Your fair point, I didn't even look at the dice tray down there. <laughs> Had we got within range, though, um, flings and goblins and other stunties can break a two-line elf wall very easily. You've only yes. got to knock the first half over, and they can just wander past the second half of it, because they get one in nine dodges all the time, as long as you pick a route that isn't on tackle. It's not a gimme, but if you've only got three dodges to do and they're each one in nines, it's not the end of the world. Yes. I mean, the problem would have been, of course, that the second row would have been tackle, tackle, and dying yeah. tackle, so it, yeah. it, it, it's, it's generally difficult, but yeah, of course, Scunnies have a better chance than most. And, like, but the real players. answer is, as we said at the start, isn't it, is how do I get there from here? Well, don't start from here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that way lies madness, Samich. <laughs> Yeah, like, it, you know, why why isn't Morg's secret weapon or, like, have a chainsaw as, like, effect or something, you know, like, claw, like, like how is this? <laughs> Just yeah, but well, he doesn't thing. hit with it, Jim. He doesn't yeah. hit with it, so it's good. He's got a literal fucking sword. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like how close fist punches are, are technically against the rules in professional wrestling. Yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> No, just because I miss it, um, <laughs> so I, I, I just want to sort of bring Jesus it back. I, I know it's not going to be the sexy, but um, I've just rolled a random country for the game. <laughs> oh, yes, go on then. And it happens to be one I've been to. It's Cape Verde, uh, which is a lovely small African country consisting of about uh, seven major islands and a couple of very small ones uh, off the coast of West Africa, about three, four hundred miles south of the Canaries. Uh, is that peaceful. a big tourist destination? For yes, it's, well, it's starting yeah. to be. It isn't yet. Um, yeah. So my top tip is get before it's overdeveloped. Go now while it's still quite cool and hipster. It's that's, sort of uh, hip for Canaries. That's, uh, that's where we're at with the Faroe Islands right now, too. Like, Iceland right. 10 years ago was, yeah. like, the place to go, and now it's like, uh, I still love that country. I love going there. I love the landscape. I love ph the photographing there. But like it's pretty rough now with all the tourism. So like yeah. my mother and now her, now yeah, the new brother and his family's been yeah. But like it, it's it, a, it's a lot harder to get to. But the Pharaohs are 
yeah. pretty lovely for that. It never Atlantic. really tempted me just because it's going somewhere colder than where I am. And that to me isn't a holiday. That's a mistake. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's but, not how I function. No, <laughs> As I, we I'm all aware know. that's not a. Well, it's also my partner's <laughs> firm belief, you know, being a Texan, uh, she craves the sun. Oh, gosh. But um, yeah. the thing that put the really the nail in its coffin to me is I've read that during tourist season, uh, Iceland's population now over doubles with tourists. Oh, easily, easily. I mean, there's only 60,000 people there that live there. <laughs> like, not hard for that to happen. But yeah, it's uh, like I, I've been. What's well, so zero much... between friends? I'm pretty sure that's 600,000. Uh, no, it's. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't know why I said so. yes, six hundred thousand. That's yeah, and I think that that's the sort of at least nearly twice as many of those coming during the uh, yeah. holiday season. It, it's the same population as the city I live in. Uh, yes, Ali is... Ryder, I've managed to <laughs> randomly pick one that isn't a toxic state filled with hate or fear, or indeed a, a Nazi state like. Um, like Singapore essentially is. It wasn't, it wasn't a removal. There's a free democracy. There wasn't a removal. Unbelievably, that was the first time that it wasn't a third. It's, it's just about a stun, 30, I know. It's about, they're only about 30% that remove, you know, with Mighty Blow. Like, it's literally yeah. only about 30% that remove, and he's removed like six in a row or something, or seven, or maybe he's even eight in a row with this guy, and then finally doesn't remove. Still gets a knockdown and a stun, but didn't remove him. Unbelievable. And it's also, Jim, it is the sort of thing that you never think, oh, I've got lucky. You just think, no, I've hit with Mighty Blow. Well, of course I've killed some flicks. <laughs> yeah. yeah but it, it, it really shouldn't happen all the time. No, it really shouldn't. But about like 30% to remove a halfling like with Mighty Blow is all it is. And that's after you get the power, right? So. And a tree rooted again. So the elves have done the great job here. They've got the game very along the length of the field. They've stretched it out. Um, yeah. Which is what they want. As we said, what they do have is lots of mobility rerolls with their dodge. So they've used that to get all over the field, uh, and then the trees can't just stand there. They have to activate, which means they eventually root. Morg only hit one a turn, and he's not getting the kill level. I say just as huge as something that that <laughs> elf was. Yep. Yeah, he gets the removal there. Doesn't hit with his right hand, though. What a fool. Oh, no, he doesn't, no. He, only, he keeps that for... Um, feeding, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't know how he gets the food from the tip of that to his mouth. <laughs> mm. Shaving, isn't it? He, sha he shaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How strong is Morg? Strength it's like six. trying. Wow, it's like triple trying to skull. Lick, lick your own elbow. That's reroll. That's the reroll gone on the triple skull. Did we need to? Was the ball safe or? He had to because he had to remove every single turn with this guy. <laughs> you know, last yeah. turn wasn't yeah. removal, so yeah, this happened. Yeah, yeah. No, we, sure look, this if you look at the, the if you look at the state on the board, it, we definitely didn't need to use the reroll there, did we? No. Except that would have put the killer on the ground, and the remaining two halflings would definitely have fouled it. Yeah. But it, it was we could have we could have tanked that. Yeah. However, sure. having used it, we've now won the game. So perhaps he was right. Yes. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's fair. Because you've got the dodge. Oh, yeah, there's the wizard. Yeah, yeah, there's the wizard. Yeah, so with the wizard, the tree... This, is definitely the, this has got to be the wizard turn, or else he's won. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, at this point, though, now you do have to do the math. Is it better to try to level it, keep all your re-rolls and the wizard for overtime, and just bank on that? Probably not. No, kill, oh. kill spells with yeah. the wizard. You've got that... Because oh. <laughs> that, that could happen. The side line, I was thinking, but... That's the yeah. wrong bounce direction and the wrong outcome. Yeah. Diced. However, Morg can get some dice on this, and I should think will. Uh, there's, a, there's a guy here, so... You know, he's... Oh, yeah, no, I'd, I'd missed him behind the tree. Nice. He's Morg okay. won't be getting dice on this, so yeah, the flings are just ruined. You can hit this guy, though. Finally revenge! No. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great if he dub scored against him and died. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be incredible, yeah. <laughs> he just removes Morg. Oh incredible. my god, that Nick Fireball clip makes that Nick me Fire, that's not outrageously right. he, angry. <laughs> whatever he has done to this game, he needs to stop it. <laughs> that's this is not the first time he's just broken reality and done stuff that shouldn't happen. 
The only the only thing the only pleasure I get is in the D and D game. The red hair runs for us. Is I and he has terrible dice and I have perfect dice. <laughs> so the the universe is realigning in a game that doesn't matter that no one will watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean you've just told me something so irrelevant to my life, but thank exactly, you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> It's like, oh, also, PC, I found a dollar in an old winter coat of mine. Yeah, and Skuro, um, on that, I've got a bit of an itchy ass right now. <laughs> well, that I can help you with, because let me tell you, after that mushroom, mushroom patch fidget, I definitely snuck in a shower. <laughs> oh, God. Do Americans have B-days? Is that a thing over there? Like birthdays? <laughs> okay, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh bidets, bidets. <laughs> uh, they are gaining in popularity, but very basically no one does now. Yeah, they are I, now I they you. are now a thing that stylish Americans who also watch soccer or sorry football uh, no, might have fine. in their homes. I don't so have it's one. Fine. It's a British expression that comes from the contraction of association yep. football. Yep. English people go, oh, it's not soccer, just idiots. Yep. I know. No uh, believe me, I know. And also, the rule stands that as long as I'm beating Flicky in his fantasy soccer uh, league, which I currently am, uh, it is officially soccer, not football. <laughs> well, to be fair, I'm winning the Jack Bull Fantasy go. Football League of fair. NFL, so yeah. maybe, maybe we should start calling that hand egg. <laughs> I mean, it, you, you can call it hand, hand egg. egg. I love hand egg. <laughs> what do you mean no kettles? We have kettles. What do you think we fucking make tea out of? A lot, a lot don't though, right? A lot, a lot of Americans don't have kettles. I guess, I guess. What do you mean by a kettle? Because like, I just mean a thing that goes on my stove and heats up my water. Yeah, that's your water. Stove. Is that similar to your water? <laughs> yeah. Yes, my water. It's a particular brand Sorry. of water. Water. <laughs> water. 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 Yeah, that was Come really. On. That, was that really is the most bad. Estonian A sound you've given us for a long water. time. My friend. Sorry, I'm drinking. I'm drinking water. coffee. I'm drinking coffee. So like sometimes it slips. Which I put my hot water into. Yeah. Um, the odd thing about America is they don't trust themselves with proper electricity. So the electricity that comes out of their walls is is almost not electricity. You could like lick it, you'd be fine. The, the one twenty. So if you plug kettles into their wall sockets, they take sort of three years to boil. So they mostly still use stove tops to boil things, which is oh, really that that is very true. Yeah, that yeah. is very true. Yeah, I, I, um, I but I but I put a I put a you know a kettle on top of the stove and it boils. Now I have an induction range, so that that shit's boiling in less than a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we've got an induction hob we use for lots of things, but we actually Mike. have a kettle we can plug into the wall, and it, it does yeah. boil things quickly because we got yeah. two forty volts, whereas you're still on one ten. Aren't you? Yeah, it's pretty pretty wasteful in terms of uh, electricity usage, but yes, <laughs> compared to uh, induction. Right? Same is true for toast, which is why toasters are much more common in the UK than in. Mm, we do like no, toast we, all, and we, tea. we all have we all have toasters here. I, every every household has a toaster and a microwave. Yeah, except mine, I have and neither. You can end your mushroom patch and come back before the toast is done. <laughs> uh, I'm, I I mean, I guess I I guess I can't really compare. I don't think I've ever made toast in in the UK, but it's like less than a minute to toast something. And just because Jim is putting this up on YouTube, and some people may have come there from Reddit. I am not advocating you lick electricity. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I am, especially if you're American. We need less. Uh, we need less American. It's how it's how you beat the ski It's how you beat lizardmen, isn't it? Just lick the <laughs> lick the electric lick the socket. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had a microwave in like 15 years. Lick the skinks, yeah. <laughs> Right, the TTM is technically on here. I mean, it's not going to happen, really? but it's technically on. Yeah, Americans use toasters to toast their cakes, don't they? Yes. <laughs> because they don't have bread, they just have cake. <laughs> <laughs> and also they have that thing that shouldn't be that is now. The um, uh, It's so near, but it just... He's got it, he's got oh, it, he's, he's got, got it. it. Oh, he hasn't got it. Oh! oh! And then, oh, of course he... Cruelty. Oh, he Fails the two, the three plus. To maybe he could have. Of course he, he does. Have, could he have thrown not towards the tackler? I feel like he could not have done. Not with the yeah. range. Yeah. Yeah, he could have probably set it up yeah. to throw not to the tackler. So yeah, maybe a bit of a mistake by Dara, but you know, really, really hard match, wasn't it? So you know, he did yeah. well to have a shot, which he did. So yep, yeah, congrats to Dara. Well, commiserations to Dara. Congrats to Peravel, who of course managed to overcome the halfling yep. menace somehow. Severe adversity there, conquered. Well done. Yep. Yeah. 
Yep. I mean, to be fair, look, to Perivel, he did play very well when he went down to one reroll. He used what he had, which was movement advantage without needing the, you know, the team reroll. He probably did use the team, team reroll on the right moment. Um, and that, you know, secured the breakaway for the touchdown from, I mean, he wasn't under a lot of pressure, but you know what I mean. So I think Perivel actually played as well as you could expect him to do. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And, uh, Thank you very much, PC and Scuro. Absolutely glorious. Pleasure. Thank you so much, guys. Absolutely. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.